part two enters, uh, begins with book four. And in book four, we're going to be introduced to a concept called nadrif. And this is a word that is impossible to translate into English. You have it written here in front of you. Um, it's translated in Volkonsky and Pavir's translation as strain. Again, it's a word that's impossible to translate. Um, in earlier translations, nadrif is translated as laceration. Uh, to be translated as cut or tear. It has this um, masochistic connotation to it. In some ways, characters are, are hurting in order to feel. So strain, laceration, um, but it, it has to also have a sense of pleasure to it, that there is some twisted enjoyment in how they are hurting one another. And that's what's happening in Nadrive. Um, we have characters who are causing their own pain in order to feel things deeply. That's Nadrive, and it'll become an important concept for the book. We are introduced to Father Farapont, who is going to be another contrast to Father Zosima. He does not have the holy fullness, but he pretends to have the holy fullness. He lives in um, the monastery, and he strikes at devils. He throws rocks at devils. And yet he does this quite a bit for a show. Uh, his desire to be known as someone um, who throws things at the devils. He doesn't like Father Zosima. He's in competition with him. He considers holiness as a competition. But of course, Father Zosima, who is actually holy, doesn't see a competition with Father Farabont. Um, we have a, uh, an, an introduction of another character, Ilyusha who is a small boy, and he is introduced um, where he's being attacked by a group of other boys, and Alyosha steps in to try to save this boy. Um, Ilyusha bites him on the finger to the bone, and yet Alyosha doesn't scream or anything. He says, all right, you've badly bitten me. Now tell me what I've done. And the boy looks at him in surprise. In the same way that what we saw in the scene at the monastery, where the bowing before Dimitri caused surprise in Alyosha. So here we have Alyosha imitating that, accepting the pain of his finger, and then saying, all right, now what? And then uh, Alyosha runs away in loud sobs. Um, what we discover in the next sections is that uh, what actually happens, or has happened to Alyosha, is that Dimitri has embarrassed his father, has pulled him out um, by the nose and yanked him out by the beard from... Um, uh, from a pub, uh, and and by doing so has embarrassed him. His name is uh, Snegirov. He was expelled from the army. He has a sick wife. He has a sick child, um, and he has has no money. And so, Dmitri's fiance Katerina asks Alyosha to go and be a messenger again, acting like an angel in between people, and to go to mediate this offense and give Captain Snegirov the the money to make up for the offense, which of course he will not, he will not take. Um, but he will not take it to his own pain. So again, we have the idea of nadrive. It will cause the captain pain to not take it, but it would also be a cause a, a pain to his pride if he did did take it. Um, and so they they must go back and forth over this.